The experiment involved 26 participants who viewed a series of pictures presented at random. On pressing a button, a picture appeared on the screen, but only after a delay of six seconds, and it lasted for three seconds before the screen went blank. Each participant viewed 90 different pictures, which could be either calm nature scenes or, or pictures that aroused emotional feelings. With this combination, there were over 2,000 trials, making it a very rigorous experiment. So walking through the procedure, the participant presses the button and a random picture appears six seconds later. In this case, it's a calm, peaceful picture. The scientists are measuring the change in heart rate variability after the button is pressed. Might help using sound as an analogy. Before the button is pressed, the sound might be like this. As the variability goes negative, the sound distorts with some lower frequencies. And if the variation goes positive, the sound distorts with some higher frequencies. So the graph of the average change in variability for all the CALM trials came out as shown and this became the reference line. However, when emotional pictures were shown, the average graph of the variability went way down from the reference graph. In fact, it started deviating from the reference graph 4.5 seconds before the picture appeared on the screen. Now, because these pictures are based on an average of over 2,000 trials, the odds of this happening by chance alone is over 1,000 to 1. This experiment alone is a pretty compelling illustration that we humans have the capability of tapping into the power of our heart-based intuition to guide our decisions. In the days ahead, how you feel about a decision is going to be far more critical than any logical analysis coming from the rational mind. And we need to do it on a daily basis.